Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a bean. So press X to delete. We're going to add curve bezier. And under here, on to the right, we're going to click on that one and we're going to say the shape should be 2D. Okay. Now we're going to select edit mode and we right click on top of it. Move it with the left mouse key a little bit to there and select the left mouse key up to there until you have approximately all one 90 degree uh, angle right click on that one and bring that one up also if your shape is not looking like it should be looking for you this is the half of the bean you can select this point and stretch it so you, s you see what's going on you can enter whatever you like to the shape i'm looking let mine looking like this but this, then the half of it is okay go back to object mode and we press alt c where we're going to select mesh from curve left click on it now we're going to tool mode over there where we're going to use add modifier and on the generate we're going to select screw so first of all i want the profile to be turned around the x-axis so i choose x-axis and i want it now it's an egg see 360 degrees but I don't want it in 360, I want it in 180. And now it's above, I want it underneath, so I press minus 180. And it got what it's looking. Now, to get a better result later on, I'm going to say 50 for the rendered version and 50 for my version now. And we're going to apply. Now, if I go back to edit mode, you see that's half of an egg and I want it closed. To close it, we're going to use the edge selection tool, just left click on the edge selection and right click on one edge, hold down the alt button and click to the one next to it, hold down the alt button and also the shift button and right click on an edge over here and you selected everything. Now press F to click and it will be filled. Now we're going to add another color to this, go back to object mode first of all. And we're going to select over here a color, which I'm going to call brown. Let's click on that one and say brown. We're not going to give the correct color already because it is too black and I cannot see uh, what's going on. So intensity maximum and specular zero. Now we're going to position the camera first. Let's right click on the camera, press N to get that menu and say lock camera view cursor on the screen and press on the numpad zero okay we roll in with the mouse with the middle mouse key and we're going to position the bean like we would okay mercer on the screen zero on the numpy on the num key and unlock camera view so this is already done now we're going to select the lamp and we're going to bring the lamp a little more closer to the object something like this going to shift D copy it and put one on the other side also but one to the back so we get a good lighting of everything and we're going to bring one in the front also so I don't think it's necessary but to get a good view of everything we're going to render it and see what it looks like and okay the bean is looking okay i think now we go back to 3d and we're going to add another mesh which we're going to choose from here and say cylinder so we're going to scale it down by pressing s scale it down like this and we're going to rotate it in this direction so r y 90 and enter and we bring it above the bean, which I'm going to scale it a little more down now. Okay. Yeah, it's looking nice. Now we're going to edit mode. Edit mode, and we're going to select face selection over here, and right click on the top face. We're going to scale it down, pressing S, so it's a little conic. Yeah. And we're going to extrude it in X direction, the red direction, so E, X until the middle of the bean. 
somewhere over here and we left click on it we're going to select that axis and we're going to bring it aside like that and we're going to scale it up by pressing s scale it up should look looking something like that going to press e x again and we're going to bring it down under the beam like that left mouse click going to move it a little more up and yeah, we can see what we can do in select that point bring it to the center and we're going to scale it down a little bit like this okay now this is not looking nice and i want to bevel this one so to do that we go to the edge selection tool left mouse click right click on that edge and hold down the alt button while clicking to another one scroll a little out with the middle mouse key and then press ctrl b and move it aside you see you can make more turns to the screen so your edge or your face is larger and if you roll with the middle mouse key you see that it makes more of the make the mesh bigger and if it looks for you okay left mouse click and you have your bean width which is looking okay i think now we're going to back to object mode and we're going to select the bean like that and we're going to tools add modifier on the generate we choose boolean and we're going to say difference because i want the difference between the the bean and the cylinder so i choose as object the cylinder and if he's giving an error it means that something is not correctly positioned or too much or too less so we're going to bring it a little more up and down uh, it has something to do with that uh, the difference that it that he cannot make because some part is not correctly positioned so if it is uh, is okay then you press apply and now we're going to hide the cylinder and the two things just if i hide, press here i don't see it anymore and if i press it over here it's not in the rendering okay so first of all what we're going to do now is going back to edit mode and we're going to use the edge selection tool where i'm going to say right click on that one hold down the alt button and click on the other one next to it now place your cursor like this your bean like this and press s where you're going to scale down a little bit like that okay do the same over here right click on that edge hold down the alt button click on that one press s and bring it down like this now if you do it you see this is not looking so nice as the other one because the other one is more bended so don't scale it too much like this i rotate a little bit yeah we do need to press s again you see I'm not going to get a better result of that so what we can do is we're going to use just the selection of that edge and bring it aside so going to edge selection and we're going to select the correct edge of course and why can't get a problem because i was like that one hold down the shift button that one select that one and all the other edges in between And we're going to place it a little more to the left like that you see I, I get the same result as the other one okay we're going to give it the bean the correct color now so go back over here select it, that one and we make it much 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 more darker and exaggerate a little bit because when rendering the rendering is still a little less darker than you think okay we're going to render it and there you have your shape of your bean if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching